Today, we're going to dig deep into Looker Continuous Integration to review different errors and how you might address them. In this video, we'll primarily look at errors from the Content Validator, the SQL Validator, and the Assert Validator. The error you'll see most often when running the SQL Validator is the column doesn't exist, seen here. There are two ways to tackle this. First, double check your spelling in the dimension. Alternatively, in Looker SQL Runner, you can use select star to view a few rows of each data column. Then you're able to see your data set column names and match them appropriately. Here, I see that I just added an extra N when naming my station dimension. This error tells me that the name STNN doesn't exist in that table. So that means the SQL in the dimension does not align with the column name in the data set. Two common content errors are bad field reference and missing information, like a missing explore. Here, the bad field reference is dew point, which is missing and is breaking a dashboard. Another error shows that this explore was defined and was important for a look, but for some reason it's missing now. The way to solve these two issues can vary. Sometimes the reason your field is not being accounted for is straightforward, and it's as simple as a spelling error. But other times you may have to dig deeper to figure out what happened to your explore. Did you delete it? Is there a missing join? Does the field even exist in that table? These errors can sometimes take a little more troubleshooting. Maybe that change was necessary and you need to fix the dashboard downstream so that it no longer includes these elements. Now the assert validator is going to warn you when your tests don't pass. That's the most straightforward error and it means your tests are preventing data issues correctly. And you can figure those out by looking at your data set or a SQL query or models that you're extending. The assert validator has another error though that means your tests aren't configured correctly. It will alert you of a bad assertion, letting you know that your test should result in a yes or a no. Essentially, data tests like these should either pass or fail. If they don't do one of those, then your test needs to be rewritten. These are just a few of the errors you'll encounter when Looker Continuous Integration is checking your code. Take a look at the Looker documentation to see more examples and to learn more about how you can configure these validators to find the errors that trip up your team the most. I hope you find that you're limiting errors as you adapt Looker CI to your workflow. Thanks for tuning in. Chat soon.